one of the causes and effects of deforestation and desertification in Africa. So you need to know what cause and effect is, and I, by this point I think you should know what cause and effect is. So a cause is something that causes something to happen. So what has happened is deforestation and desertification. Deforestation is the cutting down of the rainforest. There are huge rainforests in the tropical zone all around the world. Uh, along the equator, if you follow the equator all the way around the world, you will find rainforests. And a big problem for rainforests is that they are being deforested. What that means is large sections are being cut down. Now, why are we cutting down large sections of the rainforest? The reason is there's two causes for this. There is uh, slash and burn crop planting, which has been going on for thousands of years, where farmers will go into the rainforest, cut down large sections so that they can farm. They'll burn everything that they cut down, and that ash produces nitrogen, which causes the soil to be healthy for a few years. After a few years, the soil's not healthy anymore, and they have to move on further into the rainforest, cut down more rainforest, and plant more stuff on that new soil. That's not a problem within itself because there's not enough farmers in the rainforest doing that, but that, with the combination of the timber companies being in the rainforest around the world, in Africa, in places like Brazil, and even in Indonesia, the reason why timber companies go there is because the wood that's in those forests is very valuable because it's very rare. So it's a money thing. If there was no money, if, if the rainforest was made out of pine trees, nobody would be deforesting the rainforest. But the rainforest is not made out of pine trees. The rainforest is made out of teak. And the rainforest is made out of mahogany. And those are very expensive uh, pieces of wood. So people stand to make a lot of money by deforesting uh, the rainforest. The effect of that is we're losing our rainforest. They're disappearing. Uh, wildlife that lives there has no more habitat. You cut down the trees that the monkeys live in, the monkeys got no place to live. Uh, desertification. This happens along the Sahel region in Africa, and that's the region in between the Sahara deserts up here, then there's a strip of Sahel, and then below that is savanna, grassland, and then over here is, is rainforest. That little strip in between is called the Sahel. It's kind of a transition area between the big giant Sahara Desert and what's below it. What happens is, if you're cutting down the trees in the Sahel region, then there's nothing to hold the soil there. So when the wind starts blowing from the Sahara Desert, it blows sand on top of what used to be forest, and the desert spreads. So the Sahel used to be much further north than it is now, and it continually creeps more southerly every year. Well, if you're a farmer in the Sahel, and uh, all of a sudden you wake up five years later where once there was a beautiful cropland, grassland, now it's all sand, what are you going to do? You're going to move out. So that's one of the effects of desertification, plus the fact, again, the loss of habitat for wildlife. There's a lot of wildlife that lives in the Sahel region, and they're having to migrate further south or just dry up and die. Uh, there's lots of resources out there for you to watch. A lot of documentaries on this stuff. People seem to be very interested in this. So when you're thinking about Africa and environmental issues, you need to think about three things. You need to think about deforestation, desertification, and water, which is also a big deal in the Middle East and uh, in other places around the world, uh, in Asia as well. Clean water and enough of it is a big problem for those three regions, Africa, Asia, and the Middle East, which brings me to our next video. So if you're watching this video, uh, the next one is about water in Africa, Middle East, and Asia. Thank you.